It is extremely hard to eat smushed donuts while you're hiking. Good morning. I packed up camp kind of in the rain. It kind of stopped raining, so it's not too bad. Uh, there wasn't any water at the shelter that I know of, so I just walked 0.2 miles. There's a stream behind me. I'm going to filter my water and probably have about 17 miles of hiking today until I get to Hot Springs. So yeah, you can see it's very foggy, <laughs> misty, rainy, um, all the above. But the good thing about this morning is when I woke up in my tent, it was 54 degrees. So it's like the first time I packed up my stuff and wasn't freezing. So that's a good thing about today. I just climbed to the top of this little peak. I think it might be Walnut Mountain. It's not labeled or anything, but the shelter right over there is called Walnut Mountain Shelter. So I guess that would make sense. Just a big grassy field up here. Still pretty foggy, can't see anything, but it's kind of cool hiking in this. And I'm really sweaty right now, it's humid. All right, just taking a quick little break, six miles into my hike, still super foggy. I'm about halfway up a mountain right now. Um, it didn't rain today while I was hiking, so that's pretty cool. I took all my rain gear off and yeah, probably 11 miles to go. So it's really, cool thinking about this but this stretch of trail when I did it last year was my last day on trail and I had no idea so it's really cool doing this and just like reliving all the memories because after I leave hot springs whenever that is I might take a zero there it's going to be all new territory so I kind of feel like I was experienced at the first part of the AT because I've done it before. I knew exactly where every hostel was, every place I could sleep, and how many miles I needed to do every day. But going forward, I'm like nervous. <laughs> I don't know what's ahead. Like, I don't know what's past hot springs. And that's going to be a cool feeling, just like being a beginner again. I love how my hair looks in this weather. It's getting curly. So we got Hot Springs, 6.6 .6 miles away, Mount Katahdin, 1,924.7 miles away. I booked my stay for tonight in Hot Springs at the Appalachian Trail ER. I stayed there last year when Candy Mama was the caretaker and I loved it. It was so clean and nice and it's owned by Jennifer Farr Davis who's huge in the hiking community. So I'm really excited to stay there again. And they're only operating at half capacity, which I think is really good for this time. So looking forward to it. It's about three, four miles away. I don't know, I haven't checked. But yeah, I'm really excited to get into Hot Springs. There's a lot of things I wanna do there, but like eat. Definitely wanna eat a real like restaurant meal while I'm there. All right, I'm almost in to Hot Springs, and Hot Springs is awesome because the trail just goes right through the town, so I don't need a shuttle or anything to get to the hostel. I literally just walked right past it, so I'm excited to show you guys. I 
I saw Fresh Grounds van where you exit the woods and go into hot springs, but he wasn't serving food or anything. But maybe tomorrow morning I'll take a walk up there and see if I can say hi to him again and get a breakfast. But here I am in hot springs, got here at like 3 o'clock, so I did my 17 miles for the day. Now I'm going to go put my feet up. So I've had a good stay in the Appalachian Trail ER so far. Um, took a shower, did my laundry, got takeout from the Smoky Mountain Diner, went to Dollar General, um, did all the things. And look at my setup for tonight. I'm in the bathroom right now. This has so far been the best shower of the AT. It is so nice and had all the good shampoo, conditioner, body wash. So this is my bathroom. This is the room that I'm in and I am the only one in this room. <laughs> so it's pretty nice. I got all my stuff over here. This was pretty damp from last night so that's up hanging. I just got all my clean laundry down there. A couple snacks from the Dollar General. And I am sending myself a package um, to go home with a couple of gear that I don't use anymore, like a pair of socks and my micro spikes. Um, but I guess I'll show you all that tomorrow. Um, charging some of my devices. But yeah, it's like 9.30 and I am posting all my videos to YouTube and watching a lot of YouTube videos because that's what I do in my free time. So I'm just going to do that for the rest of the night and see you guys tomorrow. Night.